Hi, my name is Ryan Irving. I'm a sophomore here at Florida Prep in the Bronx, and today I want to show you guys some of the items we're going to be exclusively auctioning off at our Igniting Our Mission fundraiser on Saturday, May 8th. Now, as you can tell, it is a beautiful day here at our campus in Fordham Prep, and what better way to spend amazing weather like this with your friends and family than with our amazing Fordham Prep custom cornhole set. Now, as the coronavirus pandemic it begins to come to a close, I'm sure a lot of you guys are looking for ways to spend those last couple days inside. Well, that's where our Fordham Prep Jenga set comes in. I Look at that durability, though. I mean, durability like this, you can't find it everywhere, but you can find it in our Fordham Prep 8-foot custom table. Whether you're tailgating, catering, playing games, just having a good time, it serves every use. Speaking of playing games, check out this outdoor Fordham Prep custom foosball table. I mean, come on, why would you not want to play that? But you know what? Maybe, somehow, outdoor foosball isn't your thing. Well, that's where our custom Fordham Prep ping pong table comes in. I mean, we got custom paddles, custom balls, we got everything. Wow, check out that butt. How nice does that bike look? Well, good thing we're auctioning it off on Saturday, May 8th at Igniting Our Mission Fundraiser. Listen, in all seriousness, all the amazing things that we do at this school every day couldn't be possible without all of your support. So I really hope, and we all really hope, that you guys decide to, you know, maybe try and get some of these items. By the way, did I, did I mention that this was a cooler too? Good evening everyone, I'm Liam Neeson and I am forever grateful that my son Danny received a very particular set of skills while attending Fordham Prep. An abundance of faith and an appreciation of scholarship and service. Thank you Father Okonski, Mr. Piggott, Ms. Dempsey and Mr. Vile for all you did for Danny and her family. The prep truly is a special place because of the mentoring teachers, coaches and counsellors who work with young men every day and inspire them to go out and set the world on fire with confidence. I'm speaking to you from a movie set in Bulgaria, sending my best wishes to everyone in the Fordham Prep community and the hope that tonight's virtual uh, fundraiser will be a big success. Now. I hope you'll sit back and enjoy tonight's brief and entertaining program. And if you tune out before the program ends, I will look for you. I will find you. Don't worry, it's rubber. Have a great night. Thank you. Fordham Prep, igniting our mission. One of my favorite events of the year. So great to be back with all of you. Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Beck. A little over a year ago, 500 parents, alumni, and friends of Fordham Prep attended Mass at University Church across the road here, and then walked over to Shea Hall for igniting our mission. It was a great night that celebrated a wonderful school and its traditions of faith, scholarship, and service. This year, of course, we must gather virtually, so there's no band, dancing, or mingling with old and new friends. But what we do have for you tonight are some entertaining glimpses of life at the prep with teachers and students in their classrooms, in their science labs, and on the ball fields. Plus, my own interview tonight over on Jack Coffee Field with the baseball team. You know, I'm not a prep alum or parent, but I have gotten to know Father Devron and this wonderful community. Fordham Prep is a special place, never more so than this year, when the faculty work tirelessly to engage students in their classes, clubs, athletic teams, and in the arts. They were successful, not only because of their ability to adapt to the pandemic, but because of their care and concern for every prep student. Tonight, you'll briefly witness how they lead in their classroom by empowering these students through creativity, and always with reflection. Any place that has a clear mission, uh, it should be felt in what you do. And so the activities and the interactions you have 
should point to that. Please stand for this afternoon's prayer. Lord, teach me to be generous. Teach me to serve you as you deserve. To give and not to count the cost. I think one of my favorites is there is no saint without a past and no sinner without a future. The tradition allows an institution or a person or a group of people to have an identity despite changing times. To fight and not heed the wounds. To toil and not to seek for rest. Our students had every right to shut down. I mean, COVID has stolen so much from these young men. The Jesuits love being thrown into new and, and challenging experiences. That's, they went on missions to countries where they didn't even know the language. There's no prom, there's no mom Valentine dance. Basketball team won the city champs, has no basketball season. The masses that brought the whole school together a few times a year, you know, those, those special moments, all taken from the kids. To have to be adaptable and to have to be confident that you're walking with God in, in, in strange circumstances is as Ignatian as it gets. So I told them that this has been an AP experience of, uh, of Ignatian education this year. And instead, what I get is, I get smiles, I get kids that want to work hard, I get kids that help me out with technology, kids that shouldn't want to be here, that want to be here more than ever and act it out. To me, that's spiritual development. Being a Jesuit school, we've got over 450 years of history behind us. And being a school that's 180-ish years old, we've got all of that too, which is why it's important to have images around and slogans and things like that that are not just images and slogans, they point to a larger truth. To labor and not to ask for reward. Say that of knowing, I do your will. Spiritual development is not limited to any one segment of the building or the curriculum or any one activity. It occurs in all ways. If God can be found in all things, then we can come closer to him in all of our endeavors. St. John the Baptist, St. Ignatius, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Have a great day, Ford and Prep. Joining me in the school's lobby is Prep President Father Christopher Devron to welcome you and tell us more about why we are together tonight. Bruce, thank you for that kind introduction. I want to thank you especially for once again taking part in igniting our mission, this time for the third straight year. We have a terrific and brief program for you this evening. Tonight, igniting our mission celebrates the people who have made Ford and Prep one of the top schools in the New York metropolitan area, our faculty. Being a teacher at Fordham Prep is a vocation. It's a call to serve, to educate young men as they grow from youth into adulthood and to form them into the Jesuit tradition to become men for others, dedicating their lives to God's greater glory. Our faculty play a key role in the formation of our students. Whether a teacher has been at the prep for one year or 50 years, it's ultimately their care, their cura personalis of our student body that makes the biggest impact on our students, our parents, and our alumni. While we are proud of our facilities and the enhancements we're making, the brick and mortar of Hughes Hall or Shea Hall don't form a lifelong bond with our faculty. That only happens through the relationships built within these walls. We've always known our faculty to go above and beyond their work in the classroom, from leading retreats, serving as chaperones and guides on service trips, taking students around the world for global experiences, coaching them on the field and on the court. This is nothing new for Fordham Prep. As we look back on some of the past prep legends, teachers like Jack Foley, Bruce Bott, Juana Pinheiro, and Charles De Palma, or reflect on our current faculty members, they have all been active in school life, both inside and outside the classroom. We also want to recognize the extraordinary work of our faculty since March 2020, when our world was flipped upside down due to this pandemic. Overnight, our teachers pivoted to virtual learning. They transitioned lesson plans, projects, and discussions to Zoom and other platforms. At the same time, they took those extra steps to check in and see how their students were doing how they were coping and if they needed extra care or support. 
to ensure that no student left Fordham Prep due to financial hardships brought on by COVID-19, our faculty made financial sacrifices of their own. For all this dedication, I'm thrilled to share that I know of not one student who has had to withdraw because his parents couldn't afford the tuition. So tonight, we gather to virtually celebrate our faculty members to support them in their professional development goals. If you are a current or past parent, we hope you remember the impact your son's teachers had on him during his time at Rose Hill. If you're an alumnus, we hope you fondly remember the faculty members who helped shape the, your values, your moral character, and your worldview. Their continued professional development is essential in maintaining our high educational standards. Thank you so much for supporting Fordham Prep, especially during these challenging times. We could not live out our mission without you being a part of it. And we see the light at the end of the tunnel, in part, thanks to your generous care and support. So, before I turn over tonight's program to Bruce, let's begin with a prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, source of every good gift, we gather this evening to thank you for the gift of education and for those who lead it, our teachers. With grateful hearts, we recall their selfless acts of care for the growth of our students. Bless them and bless all who gather here to support Fordham Prep's mission of faith, scholarship, and service. Teach us, through the example of your son, to be generous, to serve you as you deserve, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labor and not to seek for reward, except that of knowing that we do your will. Amen. Thank you, Father Devron. Before we get started with the important business of fundraising tonight, I'd like to kick off the celebration with a virtual toast. So if you haven't already, please open these great party boxes and join Father Devron and me and some friends for a toast to the Fordham Prep faculty, current heroes, and past greats. Cheers, Cheers, Bruce. Here's to our teachers. Hi, I'm Jack Bergen, class of 1960. Aristotle wrote that teachers deserve greater honor than parents because parents provide for mere life while teachers create the opportunity for a great life. Father McAleer, who was our Greek teacher, he, he had a, an ability to take Homer and to just create excitement, to ignite excitement. That was one of the classes where I decided that I wanted to have my own odyssey. Um, I ended up joining the military, spending 25 years wandering the world. It was a good life. But now we're honoring the teachers of today. They just put in a year that is probably tougher than any year of any faculty in the history of Fordham Prep. I'd like to <clears throat> toast them. Thank you for what you've done to create a great life for today's prep students. My name is Camille Banks Lee, and it is a distinct honor and privilege to serve as a member of the Board of Trustees for Fordham Prep. My son Langston graduated with the class of 2020, and I wanna personally thank all of his teachers, the staff, the coaches who demanded excellence and pushed him and his classmates to be men for others. We have great challenges and great opportunities, and with your help, we will meet them and make this our best year yet. Cheers. Hi everyone, my name is Joe Feminia. I'm class of 1994 from Fordham Prep. And I really appreciate this opportunity to say a couple words and propose a toast to the just awesome faculty and team that we have at the prep. Obviously 2020 and COVID in general has been a complete kick in the gut. We all know that. And it's really amazing how much all of you have risen to the occasion and the massive difference you've been able to make in the lives of the students and their families. I'm so proud to have gone to the prep. I'm so proud to be back involved with the prep on the board of directors and in the prep community. And you, you, all of you is what makes this school tick, what makes the mission tick and what makes it all happen. So from the bottom of my heart and from the bottom of all the board's heart, we thank you so much and I'm looking forward to meeting all of you in person at some point soon. Cheers. Good evening. 
My name is Vinnie Murray, class of 1998. I want to congratulate and thank the faculty for all their hard work this year. Despite extraordinary circumstances, you went above and beyond to educate young men of Fordham through these challenging times. I'd like to say a special thank you to Pete McNamara and George Febles, two men who had a profound impact on my life as well as countless others. Both are passionate educators, men of incredible integrity, and Hall of Fame coaches. The prep is very fortunate to have had their decades of dedication and unwavering hard work. On behalf of a very grateful alumni, I say thank you, congratulations, and cheers. Go Rams. Before we begin our live auction and paddle raise, a few notes. Our Cash Ram raffle winners will be announced at the end of the program. Now keep in mind that our silent auction remains open for one half hour after our show. A little later, we're going to visit with a few seniors who may be trying to claim some of the great Fordham Prep silent auction items, including outdoor equipment and game sure to turn your backyard into a fun zone this summer. We hope that everyone watching tonight, and I'm told there are many households tuned in, will bid and donate the money they would have spent if we would have been able to host in-person events this past year. Hey, keep in mind that this is the Prep's only fundraiser this year. And just to remind us why we're fundraising for faculty development, let's watch this next segment. Creative success is not necessarily having a student who is the best at their instrument or the best in, in their class, but having a student who genuinely enjoys doing it. And to make it not just an individual experience, but a community experience, that's success. I hear and I see that in other classes as well. People doing all sorts of different innovative techniques to have the kids shine. With so many people having so many different ideas in a classroom together, it's crazy what can happen. Learning our subjects through their strengths and giving them the opportunity to show us their strengths. You have to come up with creative ways to try to keep our students engaged. And you try different things, different ways to reach the students. I'm not trying to fit a student into something. I'm trying to take their skills and make it work for whatever we can build around them. Discover an issue that you're passionate about and then <laughs> write persuasively in 450 words while quoting two sources uh, to do so. She sort of set aside designated time for them to respond in writing to what their experiences were and it was just what they needed. They needed to be heard. I encourage my students in the classroom to uplift one another. Through and through, it's about teamwork. Figuring out a creative solution to something by talking to someone else is, is probably one of the most helpful parts about working here. He always cracks jokes too, it makes the class easier to learn. I tried like the idea of taking a music class, but he makes the class fun. Sometimes I'll walk through the halls between classes. It's sort of like a commercial. You hear you know, somebody teaching math and kids laughing in another room and someone saying something emotional. In the room. There's just learning going on everywhere as it should be, but it, it really is inspiring. I would like to say I have a lot to do with it, but I don't. it's the students coming back. If the students didn't come back, we wouldn't have a program. So I'm very thankful to all of them, either those who graduated or those who are still here. They're what keeps the arts alive. Tonight, we're here to raise funds for faculty development. We have seven auction items, and we're going to begin with the Ram favorite, a Fordham Prep culinary experience, an in-home dinner for 30 of your best friends. It's already ready. I think we've got some money on this already. I think we're up to... $3,500, okay? And you guys know I got my manila folders working tonight. So even though we're, you know, in a different era here with the virtual action, I'm live to share some of this stuff with you. And now it's time to do some bidding. So this is a Fordham Prep culinary experience, in-home dinner for 30, gather 30 of your friends for an unforgettable evening of food, wine, and fun. Esteemed faculty, staff members, Chef Nelson Ritter, 1996, sous chef J.P. Fury, 2003, and bartender Pat Dean. He's going to throw some sliders, going to throw some breaking pitches, Class of 1988, Will, those guys are going to prepare a fabulous dinner in your home on a mutually agreed upon date prior to June 2022. All food and wine selections are included. The menu will be determined in consulting with the winner, so you've got your chance to kind of shape it the way you want. 
All you have to do is provide the location and invite your friends. And it's donated by Nelson Ritter, J.P. Fury, and Pat Dean, the triumvirate, doing an unbelievable job here for Fordham Prep. So all you've got to do is click and text to 76278. That's for texting your dollar amount for your bids. We're at $3,500 right now for the culinary experience. These guys are coming to your home. It's going to be an unbelievable night. You're going to have fun. You're going to be drinking. You're going to laugh. And I think that Nelson Ritter does an amazing job and J.P. Fury and Pat Dean on the bar. Come on. It's going to be a great night for everybody. So I'm looking for a bid of $4,000. We're at $3,500. Can you take me to $4,000? That's my goal. I know you guys are not right in front of me tonight, so I can't run up and down the aisles with the microphone, but I need you to press your phone button at home and check in and bid and bid responsibly. It's like bidding with your wallet and bidding with your heart. Those are the two things I need. We're still at 3,500. I'm looking for $4,000. Don't hear anybody for $4,000. You got to see these guys in action. They will make it a fun night. The food will be good. The drink will be outstanding. $4,000. We're finally making some progress. All right, $4,000 is my lead bid. $4,000. I'm looking for $4,500. Need $4,500 for the Fordham Prep Culinary Experience. 30 people. This is not like 20 people. There's 30 people gathering Friends and family, food, wine, and fun. And you've got the boys, Ritter, Fury, and Dean, doing an amazing job trying to make your night special. We're still at $4,000. I'm checking the big board. Yes, the big board is tomorrow. We're up to $5,200. That's like when you're playing bridge and it's a jump shift when you've got nine diamonds in your hand. So that's a great move. We went to 5,200. Thank you for the jump. 5,200 is my lead bid. We took 5,200. I need 55. We're up to $7,000. That's awesome. $7,000 for the dinner. They must think that Pat Dean pours a great drink and think that the sous chef, J.P. Fury, is going to make an unbelievable dessert. Oh, it's going to be scrumptious. And Chef Nelson Ritter, maybe a chicken scarpiello or a chicken piccata or a veal parm that's just going to be off the charts. Maybe some broccoli rob on the slot on the side. I know that Chef Nelson Ritter can do it. $7,000 my lead vendor here, $7,500. $7,500, beautiful, right on cue. I'm looking for $8,000. $7,500 is my lead bid. I don't want to keep you here all night. So you got to bid and bid quickly and bid with your heart and bid with your soul. $7,500 is my lead bid for the Fordham Prep Culinary Experience. In-home dinner for $30, $7,500. What do you guys think? $7,500 once. Come on, don't be left out. Don't be left out. $7,500 for the Fordham Prep Culinary Experience with Ritter, Fury, and Dean twice. And I'm watching the board. What do you think, guys? Sold for $7,500. Great job. We've got a winner for the Fordham Prep Culinary Experience, and it's Martin DeSafi. Martin, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, you get shouted out here when you win. Let's go to the next item. This is congrats to the grads in 2022, 2023, and 2024. We already have $3,500 as our lead bid for 2022. You pick the graduation year, well, we're going to pick the graduation year. All you have to do is arrive and have a great time. You don't have to come early. You don't have to scout your seats on graduation day. This package is amazing. Transportation in a maroon limo for six to and from graduation. Your own videographer to keep track of the evening for you. The prep will present you with a professionally edited video after. VIP seating for six. One-hour cocktail reception celebration afterwards on the prep rooftop or the patio of Bepler Hall. And then Father Devron and Dr. Petriella will stop by for photos and congratulate the graduate. Okay, this is amazing. So I'm looking for parents for the class of 2022. Let's get to the bidding time. We are at the lead bid right now, 5,500. This is 5,500 for the class of 2022. Make it an unbelievable day. This package includes transportation, the videographer. You've got the edited video. You've got the VIP seating. You've got the cocktail reception. And then you've got Father Devron and Dr. Petriello stopping by. This package, I, don't, I think it's priceless because it's going to make your day Phenomenal, and it's going to make your day easy. Fifty-five hundred. Do I hear six thousand? Looking for six thousand dollars. Six thousand dollars. Fifty-five hundred to my lead bid. Looking for six grand. This is for the graduates of the class of twenty twenty-two. Fifty-five hundred for twenty-two. 
What do you think? Make your day easy. Don't get stuck. Don't have to come in late. You can text your bids. Don't forget, later on tonight, we'll talk more about that. $6,000. We're up to $6,000. There you go. We're up to $6,000 for the class of 2022. Do I hear $6,500? $6,000 is my lead bid. $6,500. We're right there. I'm looking for seven grand. You've got all the things that you need. Bring the family. Have an amazing time. Call the grandparents. Bring in the aunts and uncles. This is a chance to go behind the scenes and have a day that you will never forget. Make it special. Don't get locked out. 6,500 is my lead, but I need 7,000. We're up to 7,000 now. What about 7,500? 7,500. I'm looking for a bit of 7,500. 7,000 is the lead bid. Don't get locked out of this one. 7,000 for the class of 2022. Up to 7,500. Looking for 8,000. Come on, guys. 8,000 would be a perfect number. It would get me closer to the goal of 10,000. 7,500 is the lead bid for the class of 2022. The graduation, that will be amazing. $7,500 once. $7,500 $7,500 for the congratulations to the class of 2022 twice. And sold for $7,500. Congratulations. We've got a winner in the class of 2022. All right. It's time to Rose, Rose, Keola, Musachia. Congratulations, Rose. You are going to have a day to remember you and your family. All right, class of 2023. Same rules. 2,600 is my lead bid. It's up to 31 now. It is bidding time. Class of 23. What do you guys think? You got the transportation in the maroon limo. By the time you get that limo, it may have turned bright red. You got your own videographer. You've got the professionally edited video, the VIP CD for six, the celebration cocktail reception immediately following on the prep rooftop or on Bepler Hall. And you've got Father Devron, Dr. Petriello stopping by to congratulate you. This package is available for any student graduating in 2023. Parents, we're at 3,100. Do I hear 3,500? Need 3,500? Need 3,500 dollars? Come on, parents, 3,100. That's nothing for the class of 2023. 31's my lead bid, looking for 3,500 dollars. You got to get in on it. You don't want to be left out. 2023. I know you think it's a long time away. It goes fast. You want to lock it in now. Get it while it's fresh. 3,100 is my lead bid for the class of 2023 for the graduation spectacular. You don't want to worry about parking. You don't want to worry about having a great seat. You don't want to worry about a party afterwards. 3,100 is my lead bid. Looking for $3,500. Come on, guys. 3,100 is my lead bid. $3,100 once. It's only $400 more. $3,100 for the class of 2023, twice. And I can't believe someone's getting away with it really easily here, but it is sold for $3,100. That's a steal. And it's Meg and Paul Schemmel. Congratulations, guys. You've got the 2023 locked in. Let's go to the class of 2024. It is bidding time for the class of 2024. Yes, it's a few years away, but this is a perfect time to secure your spot with all those wonderful seats, transportations, videographer. 2,500 is my bid at the present time, as you can see on your screen. Congratulations to the class of 2024. Time will fly, and you will be left in the mud if you don't make the effort and go out there right now and make this bid and give yourself a chance to enjoy graduation and not worry about getting there on time and doing all of those things. Here we go. $2,500 is my lead bid. $2,500 is my lead bid. $2,500 for the class of 2024. Who's got the $2,500? Who can take me to $3,000? $3,000. I know we've got a lot of parents out there for the class of 2024. $2,500 is my lead bid. Looking for 3,000 clams. $2,500 the lead bid for the wonderful opportunity to have your son have a great day. $3,000. We worked it hard, but we got the $3,000. I need $3,500. Looking for $3,500 for the class of 2024. Don't think you can worry about it several years later. I might not even offer this item next year, okay? So don't be smart and think that you can get me next year because it may have vanished somewhere in the night. 
So here's my lead bid. 4,000 great move by that person that selected the 2024 bid that was smart to do 4,000 is my lead bid 4,000 for the class of 2024 the great transportation you got the VIP seating you got the cocktail reception why not go across the street to Bepler Hall you'll have a great time you're sunning up to 20 friends and guests this is not just your immediate family we're talking about 4,000 is our lead bid for the class of 2024 $4,000 once I'm going to give you a little bit of time because there's a little bit of a delay on the live stream. We know the way it works. We've got great technology, but it is the COVID era and we're dealing with some changes in technology and everything else. $5,000. See, buying a little time gave me $1,000. It will be a big bonus for me at the end of the show. $5,000 is our lead bid. $5,000 to the graduates of the class of 2024. We're now up to $5,500. Good work. $5,500. Do I hear $6,000? Do I hear $6,000? $5,000 went to $5,500. Don't get shut out. Looking for $6,000. I know there's a lot of moms and dads for the class of 2024, a great class, but you guys have to bid right now. You don't want to lose out. So I'm talking about $5,500. $5,500 once, $5,500 for the class of 2024 twice. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. For the class of 2024, we had a bid of $5,000. Oh, we're up to $6,000. I was starting to do something special for you guys, but we're up to 6,000 just under the wire. That was a great move. 6,000, do I hear 6,500? $6,000 once. $6,000 twice. And don't get shut out. This is what I'm going to do for you now. My bidder, JP, my bidder was at $5,500, was Randy Robertson. And my bidder at $6,000 is Martin DeSafi. So, Martin, I'm going to guess that you will go down to $5,500 because you're going to do me a favor, because Randy, I want to give you this offer at $5,500 too. So how's that? Randy gets it for $5,500. Martin gets a discount. By the way, Martin, you can give us some money back later and some other stuff. You get $5,500. Congratulations. We got two different prize winners for $5,500 in the class of 2024. Congratulations to the grads. All right, let's keep this moving. We've got one more in this particular section. It's called Escape to Beautiful Palm Beach. Six days five nights in a gorgeous three-bedroom La Coquille Villa. It's got great access to the Old Palm Beach Hotel next door. That was formerly the Ritz-Carlton, by the way. I'm sure you guys knew that. You can visit the spa, play golf or tennis, enjoy the beach at La Coquille. You got your own cabana, and you also have the beach chairs included. Beach chairs are worth at least a 1000 by themselves. The luxury residence sleeps eight. It's perfect for family and friends. Donated by Sarah and Bob Davis, parents of a Fordham Prep 2021 grad. Thank you, Sarah and Bob. You guys are amazing. Uh, this is a mutually agreed upon date, excluding March and April 2022. Okay, we're going to escape to Palm Beach. Let's get to the bidding time right now. And our opening bid on the board is 3700 Not bad. Six days, five nights. When you're talking about six days, 3700 that's 600 a day for this? Ridiculous. You've got a bid on this thing. This luxury residence sleeps eight people. And you've got a gorgeous three-bedroom villa right near the Old Palm Beach Hotel. Spa, golf, tennis, beach. And you got the chairs, of course. So $3,700 is my lead bid. I'm looking for $4,200. I got $4,200. Well done. $4,200. $4,200 is my lead bid. I'm looking for $4,500. $4,500 would be the next bid. $4,200 is our lead for the escape to beautiful Palm Beach. What was the temperature today? 80-something? 82 degrees? Are you kidding me? Come on, Ford and Prep parents. This is a good one. 4,200 for my lead bid. I need 4,500. 4,200 once. 4,200. I want 45. 4,200 twice. Come on, you got to really bid and bid strong here. I've got people watching. I've got grandparents in Alabama, Tuscaloosa. 
That's right, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I've got people in South Florida. We're up to 4,700, by the way. I need 5,000. It's an easy number to write a check. We've got alumni watching California, Florida, South Carolina, Pennsylvania, and all over New England. We're at 4,700. We're looking for $5,000 for the six days, five nights of the gorgeous three-bedroom in Palm Beach. 82 degrees today. It's going to be 86, sunny very little wind when you're there. We're up to 5,500. Is that a jump, guys? 5,500. We're up beautifully. Thank you very much. 5,500 for six days, five nights. You've got to really have a phenomenal time. Sarah and Bob Davis, thank you. We're up to six grand, 6,000. I need 6,500. I'm looking for 6,500. 6,000 is the lead bid. Six days, five nights in this three-bedroom La Coquille Villa. Spa, tennis, golf, your own cabana. You've got the beach chairs, and it sleeps eight family and friends. 6,000 is my lead bid. 6,000 once, $7,000. Well done. Who jumped in there? Pat Dean, did you jump in? You're going to take the whole team with you? 7,000 is my lead bid. I'm looking for $7,500. 7,000 is my lead bid for the escape to beautiful Palm Beach. It is magnificent. $7,000 once. $7,000 to escape to beautiful Palm Beach twice. $7,500. We're up to $7,500. I need $8,000. Looking for $8,000. Come on, guys. We got to move this along. I need a quick bid here. $7,500 for the Palm Beach. $8,000 now. What about $8,500? $8,000 is our lead bid. What about $8,500? Don't finish second. Don't finish second. This is not the kind of competition you want to finish second. You want to be first. You want to tell your family, your kids your aunt and uncle, your brother and sister, your grandparents. 8,000 is my lead bid. Looking for 8,500. 8,000 once. $8,000 twice. And sold for $8,000. Congratulations. The winner is Mark Antichekia. No, Michelle Caiola. Cassio Caiola? Michelle C-A-I-O-L-A. -I, I think that's Kaola. Beautifully done, Michelle. Thank you very much. 8,000 is the winning bid for the escape to beautiful Palm Beach. Wow, we got through our first three items, and you've been absolutely great. How about we take a little pause here to talk about my favorite subject, sports. I had an opportunity to meet and interview the Fordham Prep Rams varsity baseball team and their coaches recently. These athletes are also exceptional young men with wonderful attitudes, great work ethics, and you'll see empathy for all of those around them. Let's take a look at some of the meaningful stories. I'm with Coach Pat Dean, Fordham Prep class of 88, how are you dealing with this pandemic and, and how is the approach in terms of the kids? We have a great facility at Fordham Prep and they're a very tight unit and just keeping in touch with them and communicating and the promises of a season. I think sports reveal character, sense of uh, camaraderie, teamwork. I mean, you're going to fail more than you succeed in baseball. You've got to be able to put those little blips and errors and strikeouts behind you and get, get on with the game and move on to the next play. Mike Rice has played football and baseball at the prep and played them both extremely well. He's a captain of the baseball team. How has Coach Pat Dean built the character that enables you to take the next step and do so confidently? Coach Dean has taught us to always work hard, play hard, give maximum effort. What about the spirit and the unity that you've seen from your teammates during this pandemic? It has been more than I've ever seen before. And without having a season last year, we become tighter as a team. All of the guys are friends on the team. We all hang out during school. We're all laughing at the same jokes and everyone's here to play hard and, and win. I think Mike Rice, when he finishes playing whatever he does in college, should go with the broadcasting because he's that smooth. Good job, <laughs> Thank Mike. Thank you very much. Darius Brown is a junior from the Bronx. He is a pitcher, an infielder, and an outfielder. Talk about versatility. How do you do it, Darius? I mean, being a utility is hard, but with a lot of hard work and preparation, I mean, anything's possible. One of my missions for Fordham is definitely a man for others. I want to help everybody I can, help the community, give back, especially. Wow, you're the type of kid I'd like as my own son. It's great to be next to the president, Alex Bastone, pitcher outfielder here at Fordham Prep. What has life at the prep taught you? Mr. Dean has always taught us that academics come first, and it's our 
job to go to school from 8 a.m. to 2.30, but then it's a job to come to the field every day from 2.30 to 5.30 and work our tails off and put in as much work as we can. If you treat others well and with generosity and kindness, that good things will happen to you as well. So I always look to carry myself, be humble, and just help others. Nick Brigalia is a senior catcher for Fordham Prep, and you've gone through an amazing time in your life, a difficult time. You've been treated for cancer. Can you talk about how you're doing and how supportive your teammates have been? They've been great. Every opportunity I can come and practice, they're always here supporting me. I was so excited for baseball, and that was the one thing I always just wanted to work back. It almost got taken away from me, and I was like shocked. So really just have the opportunity to be here, be out here with my teammates is just great. With me is Melo Musaccia, the shortstop for the Fordham Prep Rams. And Melo, just to be back out here and competing in the spring, how special is it? Oh, it's truly a blessing. I mean, losing last year it was just, it was really devastating for a lot of us. Uh, just to be back here on this field with my teammates is, it's a great experience. Being out here with them every single day is truly just a once in a lifetime experience. And I'm so grateful we're, we're, back, to, we're back on the field this year. It just, it shows that all the hard work pays off. Can the Rams repeat as CHSAA champions? Yes, we can. There's no doubt about it. I mean, every year we walk on the field, you know, we're thinking long term. Uh, we want to be playing in June. There's no doubt about it. I mean, that, that's the goal. We always uh, strive for the highest pinnacle. Those guys were impressive. And the baseball program is just one example of how coaches have kept their teams positive and focused on training during this challenging year. In the fall, soccer made it to the CHSAA City Final, and bowling won a city championship. In the winter, the freshman and sophomore track and field teams won the city championships, and swimming and diving were runners-up in the CHSAA State Championship. Varsity runner Miles Hogan set the New York State record of 9 minutes 3.24 seconds in the 3,200-meter run a record formerly held by prep alumnus Connor Lundy, who you'll be hearing from a little later. And to cap off the year, 14 seniors have signed letters of intent to play their sport in college. Outstanding. We've got a couple more auction items to share with you. And the first one is, as we move on to the Ignatian pilgrimage, June 23rd through June 30th, 2022, we are really rocking with this one. This package includes reservation for two adults of the pilgrimage. The Intimate Pilgrimage in Spain is sponsored by the Fordham Prep Office of Mission Integration and planning to celebrate the 500th anniversary of St. Ignatius Conversation. Conversion, I'm sorry. And so the pilgrimage is a special thing for all of you guys. Seven nights in centrally located locations with four-star hotels, breakfast daily, two lunches, one wine tasting, five dinners, travel via a deluxe motor coach, full-time local tour manager and guide and entrances and guided visits. Airfare is not included, but your sites are like Sagrada Familia, San Sebastian, Basilica and Montserrat, the cave at Maressa. Let's take a look at the bidding right now in this item. And it's $6,500 right now for the Ignatian pilgrimage. And Father Devron will like this because I always talk about Ignatian spirituality, which is for everyday life. It really consists and believes that God is present in our world and active in our lives. It's a pathway to deeper prayer, good decisions, guided by keen discernment and an active life of service to others. I'm looking for a bid of $7,000. Right now it's $6,500. Do I hear $7,000? We're up to $8,000. Good job, $8,000 for the Ignatian pilgrimage, June 23rd to June 30th, 2022. Two adults are going to have an amazing time. Going to go to, let's see, places like Loyola, Xavier, Montserrat, Manresa, Barcelona. You've got seven nights in Centrally located four-star hotels. I'm up to 8,000. Do I hear 8,500? 8,000 for the Ignatian pilgrimage. 8,000 is my lead bid. I'm looking for 8,500. $8,000 for the Ignatian pilgrimage trip. And this is once. 
$8,000 for the Ignatian Pilgrimage, June 23rd to 30th, 2022 at $8,000 for two adults twice. Trying to give you time, trying to give you a chance to reach deep down into your pockets and come up with something a little bit more to keep us going, to help us honor faculty development tonight. 8,000 is my bid, 8,000 once, 8,000 twice, and 8,500 just under the buzzer. What a move. I like those that come in late. They kind of wait for other people to bid, and then all of a sudden they pounce. They find that opportunity, and they jump in there. The person who had 8,000 right now, you know what you got? Ungats right now, unfortunately. You've got to get back in the game. 8,500 is my lead bid. Looking for $9,000. Looking for $9,000 for this Ignatian pilgrimage. Who wants to give me nine? 8,500 is my lead bid. $8,500 once. We got a staff back here getting everything, making sure that you don't get shut out. $8,500 twice giving you every chance because there could be a little bit of a delay with the stream going into your home tonight. 8,500 is my lead bid. 8,500 sold for $8,500. Congratulations, Bill Miller. Thank you so much, Bill. We really appreciate it. And you are going to have a wonderful trip for an amazing cause. And our final auction item of the night, don't forget we've got other special things special things coming up here don't forget we've got the paddle rays so don't go anywhere but this is our final auction item this is a private mass with father devron celebrate a personal and private mass at your home or fordham preps chapel choose a special birthday anniversary family occasion the prep will underwrite a catered menu for you up to 15 guests following the mass mutually agreed upon date for june 2022 it is bidding time let's see where we stand right now because we had some bids coming in already tonight we are up to 2500 for the private mass with father deborah that's a good start but that's not acceptable in my mind because this is going to be an amazing mass and a chance for reflection and a chance for you and your family to really covet a birthday anniversary, other family occasion. The prep's gonna give you a catered menu for up to 15 guests following the mass. 2,500 is my lead bid, I need $3,000. Come on, it's only an extra $500. You can drive an Uber later tonight, make some extra cash and come up for the private mass. That would get you to $3,000. Take the extra job on the side. 2,500 is my lead bid, I for $3,000. $3,000 for the private mass in past years, we have rocked and rolled with this item, so I need somebody to step up in a big way and help us contribute. $2,500 is my lead bid for the private mass with Father Devron and a chance to have a opportunity for your whole family and a big birthday. What do you want to do? How do you want to celebrate? How do you want to be blessed? $2,500 is my lead bid. Looking for $3,000. We're up to $3,000. $3,000 is my lead bid. How about $3,500? $3,000 for the private mass with Father Devron. You can have it here at the Preps Chapel or at your home. $3,000 is my lead bid. Looking for $3,500. $3,000. Come on now, everybody. Get in on the action. It's fun. It's great to bid. It's great to be competitive. I love being competitive. We are up to $3,500. Now we look for four. We look for four. $3,500 was just a stepping stone to the next thing that we're shooting for. We got to get to Mount Everest at some time tonight. $3,500 is our lead bid. How about $4,000? We're up to $4,000. We're jumping. We're climbing. We're hooking. We're sliding. $4,000 is my lead bid. I need $4,500. $4,000, $4,000 for the private mass with Father Deborah. How about $4,500? $4,000 is our lead bid. Talking about $4,500, it's just a jump of $500. $4,000 for the private mass with Father Devron once. Don't forget, this is the first time we've been together since February 29th of last year. This is our first benefit, so we need to really step up in these situations. $4,000 twice. All right, your last chance to go to 4,500. 
4,500. We got the 4,500. Now 5,000. That's a sweet number. It's an easy check to write. It's a, it's a number that's re, it's easy to remember. It's a number that we can really start to make some progress with here at the prep tonight. 4,500 for the private mass with Father Devron once. $4,500 for the private mass with Father Devron and 15 people. We're up to $5,000. Thank you very much. Great job, $5,000. How about double nickels? I know Michael Jordan once scored $55 at the Garden. How about you? $5,500. $5,000 is my lead. Bill looking for $5,500. $5,000 once. 5,000 smackers twice. And I don't want to close it too early if you're still thinking, you're still thinking, you're still thinking. $5,000. Anybody for $5,500? Yes or no, JP? I want to do two of these at 45. Yes, who's in? 5,000 is my lead bid. I want to do two of these at 45. Yes, ask the boss. $5,000. What do you think? All right, we're going to make you a deal. We're going to make you a deal. My person who's at $5,000, i am giving you a discount. I'm taking you down to $4,500 because we had another bidder that really wants this for $4,500. So this is what I'm going to do. Michelle English and Conan Dolce, I'm going to give you this item each for $4,500. Father Devron, I'm sorry, but we've got to come up with some new material because you're doing two masses sold. Well done, everybody. Michelle, Conan, thank you very much. You both our winners. And don't forget, Nelson, Pat, and JP are going to host a second dinner for $7,500 for the bid that we had earlier at that price. What's that? They're going to do another live one. They're going to do another, oh, we're going to do another live one? We're doing one now? Okay, so this is what we're doing. Nelson, Pat, we're going back to number one. Okay, sorry, this is a little impromptu. That's right, a Fordham Prep culinary experience in-home dinner for 30. We've had a lot of people calling up about this. So we're going to host a second dinner starting at $7,500. Do so we have somebody who's already in the hopper at $7,500? Let's take a look at the bidding time. Let's see if something's in there. We're going to start at seventy five. dollars This is our second dinner, and it's for the boys. So let's see what's going to happen. I'm looking for a, a price up there of $7,500. We got it? Okay, $7,500. Anybody for $8,000? Anybody for $8,000? Sorry, we're, we're throwing a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a wrinkle in here. $7,500. We're up to $8,000. So Nelson, Pat, and JP, you're up to $8,000 right now. This was our initial bid. So I'm going to pull up the, the item down here. Where is it? Somewhere down here. Uh, I can't find it. But it was the first item that we had. So... We're talking about the dinner with Nelson, Pat, and JP, the Florida Prep Culinary Experience in-home dinner for 30, gathering of your friends, unforgettable evening, food, wine, and fun. Chef Nelson Ritter, sous chef JP Ferry, bartender Pat Dean, and we are looking for food, wine, and fun. $8,000 are we up to yet? We're up to $8,000. Do I hear $8,500? $8,000 is my lead bid. We're coming back to this. This was the first item that we had. $8,000 my lead bid. $8,000 for the dinner once. $8,000 for the dinner twice. This is for Chef Ritter, sous chef Beery, bartender Pat Dean. The number on the screen, 7,500 is now 8,000. You're going to have a fabulous dinner. Are we sold, guys? Sold. Well done. And it's going to Chris Santamiro. Chris Santamiro, congratulations. We came back to you, you won, and there it is, a look at our bonus prize for the Fordham Prep Culinary Experience. Thank you, everyone. I know that being virtual instead of being part of the energy and enthusiasm of past crowds in Leonard Theater is difficult. But so many of you rose to the challenge during the live auction and made a contribution in recognition of your son's experiences with his teachers or perhaps your own time at the prep. For that, we say thank you. I'm Mario Ciampi, Fordham Prep Class of 1978 and the current chair of the Board of Trustees. When I attended the prep in the mid-1970s, the school was going through a bit of a transition. The prep had just moved to Shea Hall a couple of years before I arrived, and some of the longtime faculty members were in the twilight of their 
careers or close to retirement. Teachers like Joe Fox, Harry McDonough, Al Kirshner, part of the golden age of prep teachers, they were either retired or were close to retirement during my high school years. But the standard of excellence set by these men was carried on with the teachers who followed and remained in their footsteps. Established faculty members like Al Mamel, Father Matthew Flood, Gus Stelwag, Jerome Martin, Arthur McCormick, Father Stan Okonski, and Dr. Holbrook, as well as Father Nick Lombardi, Dennis Ahern, Father Russell Sloan, Anthony Tartaglia, and Don Frada, among many others. What struck me during my time as a student was the commitment of my teachers to see us their students succeed. Mediocre was not good enough. They truly pushed us toward the magis, the more, in everything we did. Once we earned their seal of approval, we knew we had done well. As a board member, I can confidently say that the commitment of a Fordham Prep teacher to their student has only increased. This isn't meant to diminish what my teachers did for me, my classmates, or thousands of other Rams. Rather, as offerings at the prep have increased, retreats, Christian service, global education, athletics, faculty members have increased the time they spend teaching, nurturing, and mentoring students. Mentor groups and consultation time allow students to get additional academic help where needed, and teachers are more able to closely monitor both the academic and emotional progress of their students. When the prep has asked more of the faculty members, they have always stepped up. That was true in 1978, and that is especially true now. As Father Devron mentioned earlier, when we pivoted to virtual learning in March 2020, our faculty members stepped up. When the faculty was asked to forego raises and contributions to their retirement, our faculty members stepped up. When the school returned to in-person learning in September, and students were divided into multiple tracks, our faculty members stepped up. They have given so much to Fordham Prep. So tonight, as you bid on the auctions and raise your paddles, we ask that you think of our faculty who are helping to form our leaders of tomorrow. They deserve our praise and our thanks. We can show them both by generously supporting faculty development programs and initiatives here tonight. Thank you and go Rams. Thank you, Mario. Now we're almost at the end of our fundraising for the night. But first, let's hear from the prep's principal, Dr. Petriello, and some students. It's Saturday, so it's quiet here on Mentors Court. But on school mornings when I'm out here greeting students, I see, despite our masks, how excited they are to be back on campus with their friends, classmates, and faculty. Being able to look their teachers in the eye, raise a hand in class, or have a conversation in the hallway helps them build confidence in themselves and prepares them for success. And that impact is felt long after they graduate. As you'll see in this next clip featuring young alumni in college and out in the workforce, whether they're getting ready to graduate from Notre Dame or Georgetown, working in London, or even running for mayor of New York City, their appreciation and admiration for their prep teachers remains a constant in their lives. Hey prep community, this is Owen Lombardi, class of 2017. I'm currently outside of Hesburgh Library at the University of Notre Dame, where I'm finishing up the last semester of my senior year. And I just wanted to thank everyone who's joining us at Igniting Our Mission to Celebrate Prep Faculty. I wish I could shout out every prep teacher that has made a positive impact on my life, but specifically I'd like to thank Mr. Baker for teaching me that in order to get really good at learning a second language, you have to fall in love with the culture of the language as well. And I also want to thank Dr. Lee for teaching me writing styles and structure that I've used all throughout my college career. So thanks again to everyone and go Rams. Hey everybody, I just want to send a quick shout out to the coaching staff, uh, the varsity baseball team, Coach Dean, Coach McLaughlin, Coach Kalamari. I just want to say how much I appreciated my time with you guys. Um, you know, learning the mental game, Coach Galmari, um, and really talking a lot of shop. I don't miss running Eddie's parade, but I miss all the, the great conversations we had about Maddox and the mental ABCs of pitching. 
um, Coach McLaughlin, you know, learning kind of like how to like really instill that work ethic in yourself, watching you do pull-ups in the dugout and forearm uh, workouts with a sledgehammer in between innings. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, and obviously Coach Dean, uh, you made every day of practice a ton of fun, every day of school a ton of fun, and you, you always had our backs. Go Rams, go Dodgers. Hello, Chris Reyes here, class of 2010, and from Fairfax, Virginia, a very special shout out to Dr. Carney and Senora Pinero for the years of service and dedication to Fordham Prep, but also for playing a significant role in my Fordham Prep Jesuit education. Hello, this is Connor Lundy, Fordham Prep class of 2016, Princeton class of 2020, currently here in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, where I'm spending my last year of NCAA eligibility in track and field, competing for the Tar Heels while in graduate school. I'd like to take the time today to thank my former track coach and teacher, Mr. George Febles, for the impact he had on me at the prep and still does today, five years later. Mr. Febles' emphasis on the small details that add up and compound over time allowed me to find success at Princeton and here at the University of North Carolina, where in the coming months I plan to compete for an ACC title, an NCAA All-American finish, and an appearance at the Olympic trials at the 5,000 meter distance. His commitment to his athletes and his students is indicative of the support and care that the entire faculty has for the entire Fordham Prep community. Hello, my name is Thomas Downs. I'm a member of the class of 2020. I live in New York City and I'm currently running for mayor of New York City. I wanna thank you all for joining us tonight at the Igniting Our Mission event to help us celebrate our Preps faculty. I wanna take this time now to thank the Prep faculty for all that they have done for us, the sacrifices they have made, and the extra time they have taken to help us learn and grow as people. They do an amazing job of turning young men into productive members of society. Without them, I would not be where I am today, and many others can say the same. So I wanna say thank you for all that you've done for us in the past, and all that you continue to do as faculty members for the future of Fordham Prep. Thank you. Hi, Fordham Prep, Marco Ceresa here from Kensington Palace in London. During this IOM, I wanted to give a special shout out to two Fordham Prep teachers who instilled the Fordham Prep values through the Jesuit education, Peter McNamara and Father Charles Sullivan. Both Mac and Father Sullivan gave me the tools to succeed as a collegiate athlete, businessman, and most importantly, a man for others. Thank you to you both for being such an integral part of my life. Thank you to the Fordham Prep family. Stay healthy, stay safe, and most importantly, Go Rams. Go Rams. How's it going? F Miles Nuzzi here, class of 2017. Uh, I'm in Stewart, Florida. I'm currently a senior at Georgetown University. Uh, thank you for joining Igniting Our Mission. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Doc Carney, who changed my perspective on life and taught me to be a man for others. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, I'm Colin Hilly from the class of 2021. Uh, we just wrapped up classes, and as our class becomes the youngest alumni class, um, and we're ready to make the transition into uh, four years of college, I want to thank all of my teachers, specifically Mr. Jennings, Mr. Paul Lauber, and Doc Carney for giving me a boatload of memories um, and life lessons that I'm going to carry with me into college and the years beyond. Um, I'm so grateful uh, for them, uh, for all the teachers, um, and for helping me be a better man um, and for helping me with the road ahead. Go Rams. The paddle raise, or as I prefer to call it, the button push, is the most important part of our program. It's where we ask everyone to come together as a community to support our young men and the traditions of Fordham Prep much the same way our faculty has always done. Nobody hits this guy. He's up to 86 on the gun right Woo. now. Alan. You have to set a challenge for them. You can't just spoon feed knowledge to them. Create a condition, create a case, create a problem, and then get their minds working. How do we work the problem? Curriculum should be designed with the individual students' experience in mind. In Jesuit pedagogy, 
If you're really living that mission of cure personalities, you have to get out the way so that they can grow. A coach is a teacher. Teamwork, time management, responsibility, learning how to win, learning how to lose. There's so many lessons within athletics, and that to me is what's the most important thing about it. When I work to empower a student, I want them to think, to feel, to reason, to argue in some cases, to look at things from a different perspective. New York City is such a mix of people. There's so much to explore and so much to discover, and, and when there's so many different people, so many different ideas, I feel like we can be more productive and get more done. Seed diversity is being able to have unique perspectives on hand all the time for you to access. Diversity is education. We have a melting pot of different cultures here. We're preparing them to be unleashed, to act locally, but to affect change globally. The phrase that sticks out to me the most is from do another good one. I take that and apply it everywhere in life. I feel as if I can always do another better set or I can perform better on a test, then I definitely will. We work hard on building community here. That's a direct focus here at Fordham Prep. We want the students to leave here understanding that they are cared for, that we understand the potential that they have, and that we want them to go out and set the world on fire. A celebration of Fordham Prep continues. I'm Bruce Beck. Welcome to Igniting Our Mission. Fordham Prep, one of the premier schools in the New York metropolitan area. Because of your support tonight, you are helping create young men of faith, scholarship, and service in a diverse environment. As I mentioned earlier, tonight's benefit is the only fundraiser the Prep has held in over a year. So please be as generous as you can be as we quickly move through our paddle raise and ask that you hit that button or text appropriately on your phone for the prep. So we would like to start with $10,000 tonight. I'm looking for someone to pledge 10,000 for the amazing institution that we are talking about. And all of the videos tonight are about faculty empowerment, faculty reflection, faculty creativity, faculty compassion. So faculty leads in so many ways here at Fordham Prep, and tonight is all about the faculty. So we're looking for $10,000, we just got one. Thank you very much. Anyone else like to text to 76278? That's the number, text your dollar amount to 76278. We just received a contribution of $10,000. And by the way, Sarah and Bill Miller have committed $10,000, which is amazing. The Millers are also challenging others to match their gift tonight. If someone does, they will add another $5,000 to their own gift, incredibly generous. So keep that in mind if somebody else wants to bid and pledge $10,000. Uh, we really appreciate your support. It means everything to us and all of the great things that we're doing and all of the wonderment that the faculty did this year, whether it was remote, whether it was hybrid, whether it was back in school as they are now, they had the ability to adapt and the ability to show versatility and teach in any environment. And that's really who we're saluting tonight. All right, thank you very much for your contributions at the 10,000 level. Is there anyone who would like to contribute at the $5,000 level? That would be beautiful tonight as we continue to really honor our faculty here at the prep. Last year, we had six individuals make contributions of $5,000. Don't forget to text the dollar amount to 76278. Make sure you hit the send button as well. We want to hear from you and we would love for you to contribute $5,000. It is going for an amazing cause. And again, this is our first fundraiser since I was here last in February. So it's, it's fantastic to be back on the scene at Fordham Prep here at Rose Hill. $5,000 if you have a chance to do it. And we did two at 5,000, so thank you very much. Is there anybody else at 5,000? Anybody else at 5,000? 
We just got another one at $5,000. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Anybody at 5,000 before we move on to the next level? $5,000, anybody? And someone just did $10,000. They went the other way, which is fantastic. So they helped us with the match for the Millers. So Sarah and Bill, you're now in for 15,000. Thank you very much because of the graciousness of our last contributor at 10,000. You have gone to 15 and you are our leaders tonight. Thank you very much. All right, we'd like to go to the $2,500 level. 25 is a perfect place, means a lot. It will do a lot for the faculty, nearly 100 strong here. 95% of the faculty have a postgraduate degree, including two JDs, nine PhDs, and six Jesu Jesuits. That's amazing stuff. So thank you guys. 23 faculty who are alumni of the school. How great is that? That talks about the commitment and the love that you guys have for Fordham Prep. 29 faculty with 20 or more years of service to the school. We've already got six at 2,500. That's fantastic. Anybody else at 2,500, 2,500? Want to hear two more? We just got two more. Great going. We're rocking and rolling. Two more at 25. Anybody else at 25 before we go to the next level? 2,500, 2,500. Anybody else? Honor our faculty. They deserve it. They're doing amazing things. Okay? We would like to move to $1,000 in just a couple of moments. But first, let's take a moment to give yourself time to enjoy your party box. And let's hear what faculty members have to say about their colleagues. One colleague like that, if, if I could name a colleague. <laughs> So you're going to make me pick one person, which uh, I'm going to alienate tons of good, good people, but... Many people in this building and many people who have retired from this building, I count as friends of mine. And, um, and that's not just true of me, that's true of everyone here. I don't want to give them too much credit. Some of my favorite teachers, coincidentally, are also my favorite colleagues. Um, they're going to see this too, right? I taught at Fordham University uh, when no, I was I mean, getting my doctorate. Are we coming and back? I work much harder here than I did there. Collaboration, the discussions, uh, the stealing of uh, each other's, you know, techniques and, and plans. Uh, all with just great humor. I think there's always something uh, that draws people back to the prep. I am an alumni. I am a parent of um, two Fordham Prep students as well. So I have my hat in uh, many, many things here at the prep. You mentioned that your son uh, went here. And I love to say that he didn't go to Regis. He, <laughs> he denied Regis to come. You don't have to put that. <laughs> Being welcomed back into the community is probably one of my favorite parts about working here. I was on the inside, so I had to really believe in this place. And my colleagues here are certainly uh, as intelligent and I would say more dedicated to the students than they were at the university. Well, I work with over 100 men and women uh, with, on all our sports. We have over 40, uh, 41 sports. I, I could tell you stories about every colleague here. This is one of those uh, Fordham Prep love stories. They make me look good. The person that infected me with a love of aviation was the late Arthur McCormick Sr. Arthur McCormick Sr. was an employee at Eastern Airlines, and he was a repository of really good aviation stories. I had a Latin teacher, Dr. Moire. He made my confidence grow, and I, I appreciated him for that. People should envy, you know, what it's like to be a faculty member here at Fordham Prep. I am unquestionably a better person for having worked with so many people over the years. You're not going to find another Mr. DiGiorno. You're not going to find another Mr. Grabwood. You're not going to find another Miss Keel. You're not going to find another Carol Isabel. All the values that I think were more, I mean, I attribute to Fordham Prep more than myself. It's diversity at its best. He's going to take with him for the rest of his life. Hope you're enjoying our videos. And by the way, we have the best participation of the night right now. So we are excited that you are joining us for this special evening. And we want to continue along with our paddle raise. Remember, last year and the other years we've just held this up, it was easy. Tonight we have you texting. And so once again, the key number 76278 
to text your dollar amount. And we're at 1,000 at the level of 1,000, which is a very important level. If anyone would like to pledge $1,000 to our faculty night, faculty development here at Fordham Prep, we would love to hear from you right now. $1,000 is the level that we're looking for. So if you can make your contribution to support our amazing faculty, by the way, our longest serving faculty, Father Stan Okonski, 55 years. Can you think of that? 55 years at one school. Father Stan, thank you. And Mr. Tony Tartaglia, 53 years at Fordham Prep. That is a lifetime of service and a lifetime of love. So thank you guys. You guys deserve a shout out. 108 years combined. $1,000 is the level we're at right now. We'd like to quickly finish that up at 76278. Please text the dollar amount. Don't forget to hit the button. Don't forget to press send, all of those things. All right, it's time to move to $500. $500, anybody for $500? These are just as meaningful. I, I know sometimes we talk about the big amounts and they get shout outs and stuff like that, but every dollar counts. Everything's important. Just like here at Fordham Prep with the, with the alumni and with, with the teachers over the years, every person and even every individual, no one's the same. Everyone contributes to this Fordham Prep community the community that we all respect, that we all love. So $500 would be fantastic. If you can text $500 right now to 76278, I'd be very, very happy. You would send me home very happy tonight. Okay, let's go to $250. And by the way, we are up over $100,000 tonight in the things that we're trying to generate. We have generated other funds through different methods uh, with ticket sales and whatnot, but just tonight, $100,000. That's really a lot to be proud of, wouldn't you say, Suzanne? And, and JP, we're doing great. Suzanne Dowden's amazing, by the way. If you've ever seen her in action, she is lights out. I work with all of them. She's tough on me, demanding, but she is one of the best I've ever worked with in development. She's off the charts. All right. $250. Anybody for $250? We're looking for $250 as we continue to tick up. These are important numbers too. Very important numbers. $250. I know you guys are in a little bit of a delay, but we'll take a delay. I'll, I'll stay here all night if you're going to still text. I'm very happy to do that. Father Devron will definitely order me a great dinner from Pugsley's. Actually, I'm going to Arthur Avenue in a short time. Hopefully, I'll get there in time to see my wife. We're heading to Mario's, so we'll eventually call this, call this a night. All right. We made it to our last amount, $100. And here's where I would like to respectfully challenge our parents and alumni watching to hit that donate button on your phone and make this gift. I've been told that the class of 2021, who just had their last day of class yesterday and they're celebrating, that they've reached the 65% participation level in support of the senior class gift. That's the second highest participation level in the 15 year history of the program. Don't ask me what other year was in the running. Now consider the year that these young men have had and imagine what that percentage might have been if this had been a normal year. And yet 135 members of the class made gifts and wrote over 300 messages of gratitude and thanks to their teachers. So in the spirit, of the class of 2021, will every parent and alum in the audience support this class? Even if you've done some contribution already tonight, would you support this class with an extra $100 button push right now? I'd like to speak especially to alumni out there who I'm sure recall how their own teachers mentored and supported their dreams and goals when they were on Rose Hill. To jog your memory before we hit the donate button for the last time tonight. So let's watch. I'm here on the second floor in Alumni Hall where we have over 70 years of class posters. The men featured in them had the good fortune to be students of some legendary Fordham Prep teachers. This next clip from faculty member and school archivist Lou DiGiorno highlights a few and should bring back fond memories for alumni, especially our Golden Rams watching tonight. He was perhaps the most legendary Fordham teacher of his time the Reverend William Stack Murphy, S.J. Back in the 1840s, 
the storytelling Irishman's classes were found to be, and I quote, a source of pleasure and entertainment even to the most indolent and indifferent. Such was the charm of his manner and the delightful way he had of imparting information. Of his teaching style, it was most affectionately written. There may have been a method in it, as there is said to be in some people's madness, but it would puzzle anyone to find it out. For nearly two centuries, this has been the legacy of the Fordham Prep faculty. Extraordinary men and women who have played pivotal roles in the lives of thousands and thousands of graduates. Unstinting with their time and talent, they have helped shape our young rams into men of faith, scholarship, and service. With their insight, with their wisdom, and yes, like Father Murphy, with a good dose of holy hilarity along the way. Pick up any yearbook and start flipping through the pages. Say a name and the memories come flooding back. Names that are remembered for decades, that are recalled at reunions, that can still bring a smile even years and years later. Father Fitzpatrick, he helped get you ready for college, but more importantly, for life. Mr. Bott, teacher, coach, dean, true gentleman, and the consummate prep man. Mr. Foley, Captain Jack. For over half a century, he led you from a burning Troy and back home again over Homer's wine-dark sea. Dr. Holbrook, you've never thought of history in the same way again. Mrs. Pinheiro, tough as nails, heart of gold, and always on your side. Mr. De Palma, good old Dip, a true thinker and a true son of Fordham. Mr. McCormick, the inimitable raconteur. You got time for a story? Father Lombardi, what a character. Somewhere between the antics and the ablatives, generations of prep boys learned a whole lot about Latin and about the need for joy in the world. Mr. Johnson, he showed you that the music wasn't out there. It was in you. And Mr. Mari, OST must T. See how easy verbs can be. He still prays for all of you, you know, for all of us, daily. Mrs. Henry, it wasn't about the quadratic equation or pencils or the graph paper. It was always core personalis from day one and for the next 40 years. From Father Murphy in the 1840s to Father Flood, who retired in 2010. Today's prep teachers stand on the shoulders of giants. Giants who set the standard against which our current faculty measure themselves, and giants who forged a living and enduring legacy by their example. To which we say, thank you. By the way, Father Devron and I would like to wish everyone that is responsible as a mom a very happy Mother's Day. Tomorrow is your day. We're so thrilled that we were able to do this program the day before Mother's Day. So from all of us, happy Mother's Day. We love you all. And now for our last alumni shout out from a Golden Ram class of 1967. As I think about my life and think about what's taken place over the span of two different careers, as well as my personal life, a lot of the foundation upon which I built took place at the prep. But the prep is not just the prep by itself as an institute, it's the people that are part of the prep. Awesome job tonight by J.P. Fury, who is helping me here. He's the class of 2003, just gave us $100 in cash, which I put in my top pocket, and I will present to Suzanne down later. All right, thank you very much, Joe, and here we go. Let's take this opportunity to jointly support the prep, even if you made a gift earlier tonight. Can we count everyone in for one final $100 button push right now? It would be fantastic, okay? Um, 
During our last segment, we rolled over our raffle drum right here, and it's now time to pick our three Ram raffle cash winners. Over 500 tickets were sold. We hope our winners are watching. Our first cash prize will be for $2,000. Our second one will be for $3,000. And the big winner tonight will be for $10,000. Here we go. Third place, Marlena Pulse Giga. Marlena Pulse Giga, $2,000. Congratulations, Marlena. You are a winner. We're ready for our second cash prize. Thank you very much. Here's the number. Wayne Gretzky, number 99. And the winner is Mary Thoms. Mary Thoms, $3,000. Congratulations. We've got one more. We've got the $10,000. Okay. Here it is, the lucky number. And the winner is number 215, Ann Liver. Ann Liver, $10,000 on the eve of Mother's Day. Wow. Fantastic job, Ann. Congratulations to all of our winners. It's been amazing being with you tonight. It's always such an honor to be with Fordham Prep. And uh, all I can say is that the silent auction is extended another half hour to 9 p.m. No, all I can say is that this is an amazing school. Um, and I have been privileged to be a part of the community. And uh, all I want to say is I'd love to be back next year as well. And the teachers that did such an incredible job during this year, we salute you in every way. Father Devron is back to close out the evening. Bruce, thank you. You've done an extraordinary job as usual. And thanks to everyone who stuck with us tonight, to you who hit the bid and donate buttons on your phones. Hopefully you enjoyed the show. I have just one last announcement, so keep your phones out and open your calendar application because before we wrap things up, I want to share with you that next year will be our fifth anniversary of igniting our mission. I'm very pleased to tell you that the date will be Saturday, March 12th, 2022. This will be the peak of the Ignatian year in which we see all new things in Christ. It's going to be a wonderful evening to be together again. So thanks for your generosity this evening, for being together so we could honor our faculty and all who came before them. Our community is forever grateful for their dedication, their loyalty, their care, and for all the young men who have walked both Hughes and Shays Hall. Good night and God bless. Your efforts these past four years have greatly contributed to the man I am today. Thank you so much for all you've done. Thank you, everyone. These were the best four years of my time at school. I will remember Fordham Prep fondly. You gave me the moral foundation to my life. I want to thank every teacher. It is because of you that I have become the mature young man that I am today. Thank you for everything you have done for me over the past four years. I was thinking over some of the great Mr. Homer quotes, and one that stuck out to me is, whether you regard life as a given or a gift makes all the difference. Thanks to you, I see it as a true gift and will cherish every minute of it. Thank you all for giving me my happiest and most enjoyable moments here at the prep. Preparing me for my future, pushing me to always go for more, and most of all, always believing in me. Thank you for the lessons, the laughs, for making me the man I am today and for helping to shape the man I want to be. I cannot thank you enough for the work you have put in over the last four years for the class of 2021. You push yourselves to make the prep a place where we can grow spiritually, physically, and intellectually. 
and I have no doubt that you will do the same for other young men who come to the prep. Thank you very much. These past four years have been life-changing, and a big part of that is thanks to you. I've had the greatest of times in your classes filled with moments I will never forget. I wouldn't be the man I am today without all of you. Thank you for everything. Mr. Gore. The GOAT! Father Okonski, you brought out the best of my creativity and imagination from day one through your endless compassion and patience. 